Hey there everyone, Hadesh here from LearnCodeOnline.in. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff which is a little bit advanced than the basics one. Now you can call yourself as complete beginner. You now have understanding of arrays, some of the data types and how we can write if and else basic code. Now we cannot call ourselves as just basic programmer. So we are now moving into the stage where we are calling ourselves as intermediate program. And the first step that we will be learning here is going to be functions. And believe it or not, from the day one, you have been using functions in this entire course. Just to give you a proven example, we are going to say console.log. We have been using this for a long time. This is exactly a function. Now notice very closely how this function is working. We just say something like this and we are saying John here. So we are passing anything in this function. And whenever we run this function, let me just try to run that. And I'm already into this uh, intermediate file. I'm going to say node 01. Uh, function.js run that and it prints a john very very closely observe this because we are going to be making an error here and we're going to be fixing them up okay so this is all good let me clear the screen here and now so far we have learned that we can use these functions now let's learn how we can define our own function first and foremost how do we define a variable we simply say let name is going to be simply like that john so this is how we define a simple variable. Okay, what if I had to put something numbers in it? That's also good, we can do that. Now what if I want to define a function? It is almost like that. So we're gonna say something like this, say hello, and that is gonna be saying something like this, function, and then you simply use a pair of parentheses and then your block of code. Is this the only way to write the function? No, not at all. There are many other ways that we will be exploring as the things will progress in this course, but this is one of the many ways by which you can write the functions. Okay, awesome. So what we can do in this function? You can do whatever you like. Let's just say this is a function for my website, Learn Code Online, and here we're gonna write some things. So let me just write a log here. So we're gonna be saying something like this, uh, greeting, message, oops, message, come on greeting message for user and we're going to duplicate that and come on click in here and we're going to be saying something like this hey user okay that's it so we have learned how we can define our function so what is going to happen when we run this file let me try and run this and you'll notice nothing is going to happen there we go nothing happened why is it so it is almost similar to something when you say let name is going to be equal to something like John. Is it going to happen anything? No, not at all. Until and unless you use this name variable, either somewhere here like name, until and unless it is not going to happen anything. Nothing is going to happen here. Okay, so this is what we have to learn that whenever you are declaring your function, there are three uh, couple of important aspects here. First of all is the declaration and the name of the function. In this case, the name of the function is simply say hello, okay? Then the function itself, this part is also important. And then the block of code, what you want to do with this function. And finally, you have to call this function. I repeat that again. First of all, this name part is important. The second thing is this part is important. We will figure it out later on why this part is more important. Right now, name is important. This part is important and then block of code, okay? And finally, you have to call this. So how do we call our function? Again, reminding you the example of console.log, and you call this. So this is actually your function. You are saying log and then pair of parentheses. Don't worry about what is console. We are not talking about it right now. This is the log, which is how we are doing the things. So how we can call this say hello? Exactly the same manner. We're going to say say hello and pair of parentheses and that's it. This is how you call your function. So let's just say we run that, clear the screen and run that again. There we go. And oops, I forgot to save the file. There we go. Nothing happened. So run that again. And there we go. Greeting message for user. Say hey user. Okay, that is nice. And what about if I don't like it? Yes, obviously, who likes this kind of function? I want to have a customized message for my user, whoever the user is who is creating an account. Let's just say John is creating an account. Now notice closely here, we are about to make a mistake, okay? So the first thing is, you need to pass on a parameter from this. Let's just say John is here, okay? 
Now, what you have to do, your function also should expect that somebody, when calling the function, is going to pass something into the parameter, just like console.log expects it, okay? And here also, you have to take that parameter. You can usually will call something, people call this as param1, comma, param2, something like this. Um, it's completely totally on you what you want to call them. I just want to call it as name because it makes most sense. And instead of hey user, I want to say hey and whatever it is being passed on from here. Okay, so I'll be using my back ticks and I'm going to be saying hey, then again, of course, dollar sign and these pair of curly braces and I'm going to say name. Okay, now we have done a classic mistake. Can you figure it out what is the mistake that we have done? Probably not. Let me show you by running this particular file and then I hope everybody is going to figure out what the wrong we have done. Okay, there we go. And let's look at the error. It says, John is not defined. Why is it so? Yes, exactly. Let me tell you why is it happening. When you run something like console.log, and you say something like this, John, obviously you're gonna get error because what it is expecting is to have you the strings. So string need to be passed on. And here also we are expecting a string to be there. So exactly in a similar manner, you have to either pass on it into the codes or have to define this variable in advance so that you can run it. I hope you enjoy these small sessions where I deliberately make a mistake because mistakes actually teaches us a lot about programming. Okay, now if I run this, it says, a greeting message for user, hey John. Now here's a simple quick assignment for all of you. Just remove this uh, user and instead of that, just go ahead and we should be utilizing this name here as well. So I hope everybody did that and pause the video when I got stopped there. If not, go ahead, pause the video and do that quickly. Okay, so now let's move forward and just explore one more stuff about the function. It is almost repetition what we have done so far. Okay, so we're gonna be defining one more function here and we're gonna say let, and this is gonna be full name maker, okay? And how do we define function? We just write literally function, pair of parentheses, then the code block, okay? Now my function this time is expecting two things. The first thing is gonna be first name, then comma, and we're gonna have last name. So you need to pass on two things, first name and last name. And once you have passed on, we're gonna be doing something like this. So we're gonna say something like this log, and we're gonna say welcome, oops, not like this, welcome uh, to LCO. And let's just hit Command Shift D to duplicate that. And now we are gonna be combining this first name and last name, and we're gonna be sending a message. So use the back text, and we're gonna be saying uh, something like happy, to have you and then we will be using these dollar signs couple of curly braces and uh, again with a plus sign uh, just like this and we'll be using that again dollar curly braces like that okay so come on get rid and here we can simply say first name and we can even paste that copy and paste that okay so what we are saying, whenever somebody calls this full name maker, he has to say, welcome to LCO, happy to have you, then first name and last name, okay? Now notice we have to pass on this first name and last name separated by comma. So learn something new about these functions. So we are gonna call this here. We are gonna simply say full name maker, there we go. So let's just say the full name is John Doe. So again, John, oops, John, comma, Doe. I hope everybody this time caught the mistake that we are expecting to pass on a string there. If we're gonna be calling it like that, it's gonna give you an error. I hope many of you did caught that error. So first of all, it's gonna be John, something like this, and then separated by comma, we are gonna have Doe. There we go. And we can even just comment out this one line so that our say hello doesn't work. We can have the definition, but we don't want to use it. So let's just save this, clear the output, and run that. So it says, happy to have you, John Doe. Okay, now what happens uh, when you just interchange these things? Now, these parameters always expect you to pass on the things uh, as they have declared in the function. If you're gonna reverse something like this, like Doe, and you're gonna say John, then obviously repeat of that would give you different results. This time you're gonna get 
uh, you have reversed the order basically what i'm saying is doho chan we don't want to do that let me just fix that up there we go okay so these are like the basic environments of function okay pretty easy stuff and pre pretty cool stuff now i'm gonna get just one more and we'll give you one more assignment as simply to explore so this is gonna be adder so uh, we're gonna say let my adder just to prove my point that yes it's not always about string you can have numbers in here as well and this is going to be function and uh, command z function pair of parentheses and then there we go now this time i'm expecting to pass on a number here so what do we do when you have to pass on a number now nothing at all you just simply say uh, i'm expecting a number uh, or simply say num1 comma num2 that is better and whatever you want to do in here you can just go ahead give that now so far in this entire core entire video we have been just logging the things now we will learn one more thing in here which is to return the value and there is a huge difference between returning the value and console log okay now usually we don't do console log usually we just return the value okay so what we can do is we can simply say something like this uh, let added is going to be equal to and we're going to now simply say num1 plus num2 there we go you have added those values now you want to return that so we're going to say return added so what your function does is actually adding these two numbers whenever they are calling and just adds that okay it doesn't put it onto the console so what you can do is whenever you call my adder you can just pass on a numbers and of course you have to pass on two numbers let's just say three comma five and previously we were expecting that whenever we we're calling the function it just prints on to the screen now we don't okay so let's just go up here open up our terminal and let's just have it so what we are seeing this time nothing although we did exactly the same thing but previously we were just doing console log here we don't so what you can do there are a couple of options in here the first one easy one is you can just log and inside this log you can call this entire thing so i'm going to cut that and i'm going to paste that and now if i run this obviously we're going to see eight that's one way of handling the thing probably you want to handle it somewhere sometimes else so let's just say you declare uh, something like result and then you hold it like that and then you can simply have it like this you can say result there we go so both are exactly the same and that's why i always say there are hundreds of ways in dealing up with the programming and all of them are almost correct here we are using an additional variable which is like not so good thing for these kinds of small stuff so better idea would be to just have this directly in here if you want to print it okay so quite in just video in just one video you have learned quite a lot of things about function and still i can talk a lot about functions they're amazing and they are being used in almost everywhere in JavaScript. So I hope you are enjoying this series. That's it for this video. Visit learncodeonline.in and I'm going to surely catch you up in the next video.